Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. BBW, that's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Eggman Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. Say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Back in this thing, dog, we representing from the city of Detroit. So, of course, we got a Detroit brand today, dog. We got the Detroit City Distillery for Grain Bourbon. Now, if you've been checking out the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey podcast, you do know that we had Detroit City the Distillery probably like eight seasons ago, we had the butcher's cut. So we back again this time for four grain. Now there's four uh, four different expressions, all right? So we got the uh, butcher's cut, which we already reviewed, reviewed uh, the four grain, which is what we're doing today. They do have a rye expression, and then they have a bloodline expression. Uh, all four of those, uh, I did actually get a chance to taste. Uh, I did choose the four grain for today's episode, though. Uh, shout out to the, la- to the ladies down at Detroit City Distillery. Uh, it is Harriet and Paige. I remember your names. Harriet and Paige were our bartenders for the flight uh, that I had to test out these burgers and whiskey. So shout out to them. Um, I'm excited about it. I've already had it. Uh, I don't know, Bo, you haven't had this one yet? I don't think. Have no, you? I had the butcher's cut and uh, rye, and that's it. Okay. All right. So we're going to check it out. I already know that, that I like it. Um, it's been opened already, so it, it could have some time to breathe. It could actually taste different. So uh, let's go ahead and give a, a listen to the cork. Now, I've already popped the cork, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference there. So once again, uh, when you're dealing with these distilleries, we like going to the tasting rooms. So right. Detroit City is a good experience. It's a very good tasting room experience, for sure. Pause for the cork. Mm. It's yeah. been open. It's been open, open before. Open. You know, I give it, I give it that. It's uh, been open before. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's like the third go around, right? You're like, baby girl, I'm, so I'm tired now. Okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm 43 years older. I'm not in my 20s no more, right? Exactly. I'm getting cramping as well. All right. I'm <laughs> drink. Now, Detroit City has gin, they have vodka, they have uh, rum. So they have a lot of different expressions. If you get a chance to tour down there, their tasting room is off the chain, especially on Thursday. Well, we went on Thursday. Yep. And we sat, you know, they block, they, go. Off, yeah, they block off the street, sit outside, they got the bartender in the middle of the street and you can go inside or whatever. So that's a good experience. And then even the, if you can go over and see where the barrels are held, it's the old Stroh's Beer Factory. Uh, and they use the, uh, the basement to house all of their uh, uh, barrels. So it's a huge facility. It's bigger than you possibly think it is. And that's what I was going to say. There's a tasting room in there too. Right. And that's, they read that out for a bit. And that's what we were talking about. I think they do that during the week, too. I think maybe Wednesday or something, they okay. do that. So that, that was one we were talking about going to as well. We went when they did those, uh, like, four new expressions that one time, mystery expressions. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Detroit City Distillery. Shout out to my man's Mike uh, over there, one of the master distillers. And dude that looked like Zeke, I don't know his name. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. <laughs> Big fella look like Zeke. Yeah, he do, though. He looks like, look just like dog, man. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the four grain. Um, kind of you can you can kind of smell the the regular kind of the regular kind of notes. It is a little bit. It's something. It, there's some sweetness to the smell. Something that I didn't get the other day is cherry. Cherry. Yo. Is that what it is? I knew something cherry, sweet. And I didn't get that the other day. So if you have a chance to breathe, it have a chance to breathe. Right? That's just on smell. We haven't tasted. Cherry. Yeah. Definitely in there. Some fruit sweetness. You know, is, is, is that cherry? Get, get a little hug at the end there. Nice little hug. Yeah. Nice little hug. I like nice, it. Nice bite on the tongue, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah initially. Yeah. Sure. Oh, the nose is nice. So, yeah, I think that might be true. Yeah, no, it's, 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 cool. it's at least two years old, and the price on it is 100 proof, and the price on it was 58. 58, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, I. 
from the first time I tried it, I, I don't think I initially got the, the cherry taste. I knew it was some kind of fruit sweetness. Uh, I do kind of taste and smell the cherries now. Uh, nice little back end on it too, though. You know what I'm saying? Nice back end on the finish. Uh, oh, her too, though. It's a, <laughs> it's a Nice little back end. Oh. Nice little back end. Ain't no pause on that. Shit. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> we fuck with the back end. This bottle? Uh, uh, ladies, this on her. This, on her. This, this is not the bottle you want to hit somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is so it's ready to do damage. Yeah, but you can use that bottle to kind of like to defend your household. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's the, there's the cherry. A little bit of char at the end. Uh, even a little, Even a little peppery. I believe, unless there's something still stuck to the side of my tongue from the ride last week, that was a week ago. But <laughs> I, what I will say though is that having having that that ride last week, um, I think I was I think I was anticipating a little more complexity. Mm-hmm. This is not complex at all. It, it is what it is. You got the cherry taste to it, and and, and that's that's kind of it. It's not a long, as long as a, of a finish either. This, this this first time I've been able to say this. This is more of a has an oily. Consistency to it, does it? It's it's one of the, one of those ones that if you leave it at the bottom of the glass, it'll leave a stain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's something to this being that almost want to say molasses kind of because mm. yeah, there's there's to it. it. Maybe I can give that. But I still, it's, I like it. I like it. I like it. So yeah, I mean, it's, now still, I, I will say this too before we even go any further. I'm going to, at this point, since I've had all four, I'm still always going to choose the Butcher's Cut. Like, the Butcher's Cut, cut is the best of the four Detroit distillery uh, selections that I've had. So I still, I, I would go with that. This is a nice second place. I think these guys would probably like the ride in the second place, probably ahead of this one. Uh, and you say you, you haven't had a bloodline. No, right? no, okay. no. It's a bloodline, like I said, I think because of, because of that, that kind of overpowering vanilla, like I didn't really like it, but this one, this was good. I like it. Uh, some cherries on, on the on the beginning. Uh, is it anything really good different with the smoke? Okay, that's really what I was good. Say. Cigar. Brings out the char. Okay, and maybe that's why it, it tastes different because we yeah. were smoking cigars at the distillery. Really, so, really good taste. Totally changed the taste. Okay, and that's probably why you said that you picked up something that you didn't initially pick up when we were at the distillery because of the smoke. What about you, Bo? You think it, it switches up for you? It does a little bit for me. Um, it helps me a little bit with the sweetness, right? You know, it brings out a little bit more of that char for me. But, uh, it's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It, it, it's sweet. Um, but I like it. I like it. it. You know, it's not to the point where it's candy sweet. You're like, you know, it may do that like that, that bitter beer fancy <laughs> thing. Right? Like, right, it ain't to that point. It, it's just nice, smooth, I can say smooth, <laughs> subtle <laughs> sweetness to it. You know right. so. I dig I think it, it does it does complement the uh, cigar well. And like you said, I think it, it may knock out some of the sweetness. So if it's too sweet for you, then the cigar will definitely uh, mellow that out for you. All right, so yeah, so you've got our preliminary analysis. I can talk. We can do this. <laughs> we we, we going to hustle through it. <laughs> but right now, we're going to go to commercial break. Use your uh, words. Right, use your words. <laughs> for real. When we get back, though, we're going to go through our one through five Black Power Fist ratings, so make sure you check us out on the other end of the commercial. But till then, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey. The podcast got my man Angry Principal and Bo holding it down. And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 4205, man. Be right back in the morning. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey. The podcast. And we're back. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. Got my man Bo holding it down. And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So look, on the other end of the commercial break, you already heard our preliminary analysis. Right now, we're getting ready to, you know, look it up with the rating system, though. Last week we started with Bo, so this week we back to you, Angry Principal. Uh, what you want to give me? One to five. Man. I'm gonna give it a three, okay. uh, only because I know the butcher's cut is much better. Mm-hmm. Uh, butcher's cut after a four, mm-hmm. so yeah. uh, this is at a three, and then that, that that ride, like we were saying, the ride will probably be the second, okay, uh, second place. So you can't go wrong if you're dealing with Detroit City, mm-hmm. but uh, this is.
this is a solid, solid three. Mm -hmm. Solid three. Right, you even you even said something about the gin, about how good the gin yeah, is. The gin is outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> that is some of the best gin I've ever yeah. seen. So uh yeah, the, the gin, the vodka, all of them are really good, but that gin is it, it mm -hmm. stands out. Butcher's cut, the rye, then this if you're dealing with the your whiskeys. Your, your, your whiskey. That's true. But uh that gin, you can't go wrong with that. That's true. Okay. But well, what you saying, man? Oh um, five. First of all, man, just, just shout out to Detroit City Distillery, yeah. Mike and the whole gang down there, man. Whenever we go down there, they show us love, you know, it's still real light right at home, you know, they let us chill, man. So shout out to them, man. Shout out. You ever find yourself in Detroit or you live here or whatever it is, go go check out Mike and the gang down in Detroit City Distillery. So, sure. And we'll but, be shooting um, on location down there soon. Too. But, um... So the butcher's cut, I really like the butcher's cut. Like, I really like it. You know, that, that's like a 4.5, almost a 5 for me. Um... I'm gonna put this at, at a three as well. Um, I think I prefer their rye over this, but uh, again, you, like Anger Principal said, you can't go wrong with this either. You know, I, I give it a solid three. Gotcha. All right. I think we're on the same page with that. I'm gonna give it a three too, but I will tell you this. If you, uh, if you are a cigar smoker, smoke you a cigar with this. I'm telling you, this, that's gonna give it the, the, best, uh, the best flavor profile is with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with the cigar. It's going to give you that good char on the end, uh, a little bit more pepper for some of you rye uh, lovers, and it'll knock out some of the sweetness. So definitely pair with the cigar. This is going to be your, your best bet. Uh, I think we're all in agreement on giving it a three, though. A, a very solid bourbon. Uh, I think they're going to put the rye above that. I'll probably you know flip-flop those two. But out of the four, uh, I think we all agree that Butcher's Cut is the best out of all four. But this is a, this is a close one behind, so... Uh, you can't go wrong with it, so it's definitely not a it's not a no go. So three, uh, solid three across the board. Uh, shout out to my people down at Detroit City Distillery, man. Uh, that's it. We about to drink some more threes across the board. Make sure that you get down there if you're in the metro area to uh, get down to Detroit City Distillery that is down in uh, Eastern Market. So make sure you pull up down there. Live events every Thursday, man. We uh we be in the building a lot of times, so maybe you will see us there. We do autographs sometimes, even though we're not famous yet, but we still go sign a piece of paper because we think you're famous. Especially, so. especially if you're a little female. You're a pretty, pretty little female. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm signing the hell off the dog. <laughs> oh, you ain't got me little. I like the big girls, too. Hey, you know, everybody girls. loves BBW. I like the big girls, <laughs> I like the big girls too. I love y'all. love y'all. Yo, till the next time, man. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Got my man Adrian Principal on it down. Treat what you like, I can like. My man Bo and the BBWs. I'll say. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. For the point 205, man. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>